Hi boys and girls, welcome to another day of Kids Daily Devotion. My name is Auntie Rashida. It's a pleasure to be sharing with you guys today. Our scripture reading for today is 1 Kings 7 verses 9 to 12 and our remember verse is Psalm 139 verses 1 to 2. Our scripture reading for today is 1 Kings 7, verses 9 to 12. We'll first read from the New International Reader's Version. All those buildings were made out of blocks of good quality stone. They were cut to the right size. They were made smooth on their back and front sides. Those stones were used for the outside of each building and for the large courtyard. They were also used from the foundation up to the roofs. Large blocks of good quality stone were used for the foundation. Some were 15 feet long, others were 12 feet long. The walls above them were made out of good quality stones. The stones were cut to the right size. On top of them was a layer of cedar beams. The large courtyard had a wall around it. The first three layers of the wall were made out of the blocks of stone. The top layer was made out of beautiful cedar wood. The same thing was done with the inside courtyard of the Lord's temple and its porch. The King James Version reads, all these were of costly stones, according to the measures of hewed stones, sawed with saws, within and without, even from the foundation unto the copy and so on the outside toward the great court. And the foundation was of costly stones, even great stones, stones of ten cubits and stones of eight cubits. And above were costly stones, after the measures of hewed stones and cedar. And the great court round about was with three rows of hewed stones and a row of cedar beams, both for the inner court of the house and for the porch of the house. Here ended our reading of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, thanks be to God. Okay. Let's explain what we have just read. After David's death, Solomon, David's son, remembered all the things David told him before he died. Remember, we talk about David telling Solomon it's almost his time to go yesterday, as in to die, so he gave Solomon stern and good encouragement. Well, David died and so Solomon remembered what David told him. David told Solomon that he should ask God for good things and to obey him. Solomon held that to his heart. He seek God, he loved God. And so Solomon asked God to give him wisdom for him to lead his people, and that's the people of Israel. God was very happy that Solomon recognized him and praised him and also asked him for such a gift, a gift called wisdom to lead his people. When we ask God for something that God loves for us, he is very much pleased. God was pleased with Solomon because of what he asked for, the gift of wisdom to lead his people. God was happy and God granted his wish or granted what he asked for, the gift called wisdom. How many of us today, boys and girls, ask God for something that will glorify him? Mm -hmm. So, God gave Solomon the gift called wisdom to lead his people. I know, it's a great gift. Having no wisdom seems as if you have a mind that won't be focused or a mind that won't help you out of situation. 
My boys and girls, let us ask God for wisdom. It is important for us to have wisdom. Wisdom is key to assist us in everything we say and do. Because Solomon asked God for wisdom, God made it known that there will be no man wise as Solomon. Up to this day, everyone says Solomon is wiser. He is the wisest. He is man of great knowledge. So God gave him the gift and God made it clear that Solomon is the wisest man in history. Okay, guys, let us apply what we have learned today. God is pleased and he is glorified when we ask him for wisdom. When we ask him for things that will bring glory unto his name. For your activities today, I want you to fill in the blanks by taking words from your memory verse, which is Psalm 139 verses 1 to 2. So go ahead, guys, and complete the activity. Before we go, let us say this prayer together. With our hands clasped and our eyes closed. Heavenly Father, please give me an obedient heart and the wisdom to follow you. Amen. Okay guys, I'll see you tomorrow for day 5 of week 19, Kids Daily Devotion. Remember to stay safe, be blessed, ask God for wisdom. Our memory verse for today is Psalm 139 verses 1 to 2. The King James Version reads, O Lord! Thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down-sitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thoughts afar off. The New International Reader's Version states, Lord, you have seen what is in my heart. You know all about me. You know when I sit down and when I get up. You know what I'm thinking even though you are far away.